Big box store violets can be so tempting. They're either beautiful because the store just got them in or they're on clearance, all sad and in need of a rescue. Since they've been sitting among all the other plants in the store and are stressed from shipping and poor care, they'll more than likely have insect problems of one kind or another. Isolation and some preventative measures can go a long way to keep your plants healthy and pest free. It's a whole lot easier to treat and isolate a few new plants than to have to deal with treating your whole collection. The fastest and most risky way is to repot, dome, and isolate. The potting mix that violets come in is not designed for long-term growing and is possibly infested with insects, so I'm going to remove as much as I can. Then we'll pot this up in a light, well-draining potting mix that I've mixed some systemic insecticide into. One of the most common mistakes is to use a pot that is too big. African violets like smaller pots and usually don't bloom until they are pot bound. A pot that is too large can hold too much water and cause root rot. We want to prevent transplant shock and encourage new roots. To do this, we'll dome or bag it. This dome or bag also serves as a good way to isolate the plant. To be safe, you should isolate for three months. This is plenty of time for any insect eggs to hatch or any other issues to show up. A much safer way is to remove and discard the roots and all the potting mix that came with the plant. Pot it up and isolate it. With a sharp knife, we are going to cut off the entire root ball and discard it. Lightly scrape the trunk. This is where your new roots will grow. Poke a hole in your potting mix and gently put your violet in. Try to make sure your plant's sitting straight. You can use little stakes or floral pins to support it. 
this method is much safer than simply repotting and you'll be sure you have healthy roots with no mealybugs or fungus gnats. Dome or bag and then sit it in a bright location. By far the safest way to save a violet from a big box store is to take a leaf cutting and discard the rest of the plant. Not only will it give you plenty of new plants to choose from, growing the plants from this stage will ensure you have plants that are well adapted to your growing conditions. Choose the healthiest leaves, preferably from the middle row. Cut with a sharp knife on an angle, about an inch long. Poke a hole in your mix and place the leaf leaning back slightly. Dome or bag and then isolate. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy our videos, please like and subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know below.